I need to run a copper pipe through this wall and I'd like to get it level. Now let's say you're running a drain pipe. You want a little bit of a slope. So either way, you need to know where level is. A common way is to get out a nice big level like this one. Anyway, that's one way of doing it. But a laser level works a lot better. And I'm going to show you a couple ways to put this to use. And I'm going to show you a brand new one to me. We're going to go ahead and, and use that to mark this wall out for a couple things. A pipe. I also want to put a four foot sheet of drywall on here. But this is just a demo wall. It's a temporary wall. We're going to test out the Wallabot stud finder basically. And we're going to put a bunch of different things in here from copper pipes to PEX pipe to wiring. But I want to start out by putting in that copper pipe. And I'm just going to run that one horizontally. I've got some holes already here, just one anyway. I'm going to go ahead and match up the rest of the holes to this one. So I made a mark right here. I could get out the level and try and hold it. And by yourself, that's tricky because you got to hold it, try and go over here and mark it, go over here and mark it. You could put a nail in here, rest it on that, like I could have made the mark over here, done it that way. But what I'm going to show you is this laser by Devo. It's D-O-V-O-H. And I'll put a link to it in the description down below so you know right one what I've got. Uh, this comes in a nice little case here. So you can see this case and it comes with a number of accessories. So let me show you those first. So it comes with a green indicator. This can help you see the laser line in dim light. Now these usually aren't bright enough for outdoor use, but you can get by with that. Sometimes you can still see it outside. It's best if it's kind of a cloudy day. You may be able to shade it and see it. Or you can get a laser indicator and it's an electronic device that you put out there and it'll beep when it senses the, the laser hitting it. It also comes with a charger, a couple of batteries because it's cordless. I've got one battery in it and it's got this little platform. So I can see you crank this, it raises it up. So I guess if you want to set it, on something and make that little minute adjustment up and down you can do it that way and it also comes with this which is more of a wall mount it's got a little uh, track like right here with these screws so you could attach this to some track on the wall like if you're doing grid ceiling you could put it on the outer perimeter and i forget what they call it but it's an l metal it'll attach to that or it's got a teardrop hole here so you could put a screw or a nail in the wall hang it that way it's also got a large screw mount right here and you could uh, attach it to something that way and i'm not real sure what that one's for once you get it attached though you put the laser on here with this quarter um, thread mount which is the same as a tripod which is what we're going to use but you can crank this up and down to get that adjustment that way um it also, this one has lasers that shoot horizontally this way, vertical this way, and horizontal at the bottom. So it's actually got a laser down here, one up here, and one on the side. You can turn those on and off individually. That can be handy when you're trying to get a 90 degree uh, mark for say a cabinet and you, you're putting it right in the middle of the wall. You don't want it tilted this way and um, you can square it up that way. There's a number of ways you can use it so there's a lot of uses for them i'm going to show you a couple here we're going to mark it out for the plumbing and then i'm going to mark it for a piece of drywall i'm going to put a eight foot sheet of drywall on here for that uh, stud finder test and just putting it right in the middle of the wall it's like how do you put it on there semi level i don't want it to be all crooked well this is going to give us a mark i've got this mounted to my tripod mount turn it on now it just turns on with this little slide lever and it will self level. If you get it, if you bump it, you can see it's moving. So it can tolerate quite a range of motion. It's got a kind of like a gyroscopic, it's more like um, gravity based. It's keeping it centered. So for the pipe, let's just go ahead and mark this out. And let's say we want it to run all the way through each of these studs I yeah I probably am going to and you can just come here and simply trace out the lines now you know where to drill but I'm also going to mark it out for the drywall so to do that let's just lower it down 
Okay, I've got that on my new mark. The main thing is that it's gonna be level and we're gonna check that with my level and see how it looks. But I also wanted to tell you about a few of the other features. So this thing is also a magnetic mount. It can pop apart like that and you can see the magnetic plate so you could mount it that way. You could also use this for hanging photos or pictures in your room if you want them to be nice and level across the top or bottom. Perfect way to do it, much easier than a level. I'm just gonna put up two brackets. You can also do this, use this method for setting cabinets. I've done this before. I built my own cabinets one time and I made them out of melamine for my shop and they were really heavy, honestly. By the time I got done, I think one of them weighed 180 pounds because it was pretty long. I think it was eight foot long. But anyway, point was I knew I was gonna carry it out there by myself in my shop, put it on the wall, get some screws in it. How am I gonna do that with one person? Well, I did a line like this and I attached a two by four to the wall and I managed to carry it over and set it onto the two by four. Once I had that done, all I had to do is hold it up while I ran some screws in it. So there's a lot of ways to use these. Okay, let's check that out with the, lay, the level. And this will make it even easier to check out. Okay, I went and got my other camera. I'm going to take a picture of that bubble for you guys so you can see what I'm seeing. And it looks to me like it's pretty much dead on. So I'd say the accuracy is not something to worry about. Now we're just going to go ahead and hang a sheet of rock on here. And hey, if you really want to take the confusion out of understanding all these different drywall tools and materials, I'm going to give away a copy of my new ebook called Understanding Drywall Tools and Materials. You can pick that up using the link in the description down below, or if that's a condensed version. If you want the full version, it's available in my store at thatkiltryguystore.com. And I'm going to help simplify all this, and I'm going to show you why you don't need most of this. I'll show you what you do need and why.